Hello, good evening. How are you today? <coughs> Hi, teacher. Fine, you? Fine, fine. Teacher, voy, teacher. Voy a ser deviente, teacher, porque todavía estoy trabajando. Vaya, David. Teacher, este, eh, yo quiero solicitar permiso solo la primera hora para estar de oyente. Va. Por favor. Sí. ¿Cómo está por su casa la lluvia? Está lloviendo, teacher. Pero no está muy fuerte. No. Ah, vale. Aquí estuvo bastante fuerte, así como que ah, tipo 7. Ya ahorita ya ha bajado bastante. Así es que. <coughs> bueno. No saben. <coughs> Vamos a pasar la lista. <coughs> ok, vamos a ver cómo estamos. Alguien que nos han de perdido por allí. There we go. Mm -hmm. By Oscar, no here today. Ready to say present? Yes. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Está raro el clima, está haciendo calor, está lloviendo. <ríe> Yo creo que sí. Si sí salimos allá, allá afuera de estar fresco, pero aquí adentro sí. está caliente. Eleven, right? Monday, eleventh. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Yes. Ana Alicia. Ana. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Diego Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gema. <coughs> Gema Carolina. No. Jessica Lisset. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alberto. José Alberto. Karen. Karen Janet. Present. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present. Lizette Dayanara. Present. Present. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia, Oscar, Rebeca Marcela, Rodrigo Marcelo, Ana Grisel, <coughs> Ana 
Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Grace. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. Luis Mauricio. Vamos a ver si ha llegado alguno después. Rosa Hilda, no mío. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Rebeca. Oscar. Nubia. Karen Stephanie. José Alberto. José Alfredo. Gemma, Carolina. Present teacher. ¿Mm? Gemma. José Alfredo. Vamos a ver. Ok, Gemma Carolina. No, Gemma. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Ana. Ok. Pache. Ya estamos. Vas a ganar. Teacher. ¿Cómo ganar? Ay. Ay. Pero yo estoy segura que de una u otra tu parte van a estar ganando. Well, I'm going to cheer. Okay, nice to see you, Alberto. Vamos a ver, where are you? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to share the presentation with you. And I'm going to let you chair too. We are on our class number 19. That means six more classes and we're finishing, right? And tomorrow we are going to be on class number 20. That means that for tomorrow you should be finishing a unit number three, right? The whole unit number three. I was checking on Saturday and I saw many people still missing, right? <clears throat> so check that you go working in, in the units and that you're not staying behind. Okay. Vamos a ver. De la primera, aquí está dividido en dos páginas, ¿verdad? De la primera página tengo solamente Edwin, Elda, que han hecho dos de las actividades, Gema ha hecho el tres. José Alfredo, José Alberto, Karen, Karen ha hecho una, José Alberto ha hecho dos, José Alfredo ha hecho, me imagino que tres o cuatro, y Carla Lorena que ha hecho dos. De ahí lo que no menciono es porque no han hecho nada, ¿verdad? Entonces no me dejen hasta mañana en la noche completar eso. Eh, yo les escribí el sábado para recordarles porque yo sé que el fin de semana uno está un poquitito más libre, ¿verdad? Ya de la segunda página tengo Lidia, Elise Dayanara, ya con el 80%. Eh, yo tengo Nubia y Rodrigo que ya tienen el 100%. Oscar ha hecho solo una de las actividades y Rosa Hilda ha hecho tres, ¿verdad? 
si los demás lo que no menciono es porque no tienen ni uno hecho. Entonces, eh, otra vez, ¿verdad? Les recuerdo, no me dejen las actividades hasta el final. Yo mañana ya no le voy a recordar a nadie que tiene tareas pendientes. Al solo terminar la clase, yo recojo las notas que tenga, ¿verdad? Yo recojo las notas que tenga y eso es lo que recorto. La vez pasada, terminando el midterm, mid les escribieron de inglés corporativo y es bien penoso que ellos tengan que estarles recordando que ustedes tienen un compromiso de completar la plataforma, porque yo se los voy diciendo frecuentemente para que no se atrasen. Y si tienen preguntas, igual las vamos viendo aquí. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ahorita ya tendrían que estar por lo menos con el 40%, porque la tarea 3 es de la clase de hoy, ¿verdad? Entonces, por lo menos con el 40% y adelantando ya el examen final, las partes que son de la unidad 1 y la 2, esas ya las pueden ir haciendo. Oye, no esperen ustedes que lleguemos hasta el final de curso para que no se me atrase. Oye, porque ya la otra semana les toca completar la unidad 4 y también el examen. Entonces, para que no se vayan atrasando, va lo mismo que, cuando, que con el midterm. Vaya completando eh, lo que ya pueden, ¿verdad? Hay cosas de la unidad 1 allí. Y hay cosas de la unidad 2 que ustedes ya las pueden ir haciendo. Entonces, aún algunas cositas de comparativos de la unidad 3 ya las pueden ir haciendo. Entonces, no esperen hasta el otro martes para trabajar porque yo es terminando clase y empiezo a recoger notas, ¿verdad? No me quedo a recoger notas hasta el día siguiente, pero el día siguiente eh, yo salgo temprano. Entonces, las notas yo las recojo así. Terminamos clase, yo recojo notas y eh, lo mucho tipo 11 doy una segunda revisada y ya, terminando de subirse el video a las once y media, la última revisada y de allí nos vemos hasta el siguiente curso, ¿ok? Entonces, pónganse en las pilas, en no dejarme eh, nada retrasado. ¿Verdad? Todavía tengo gente de unidad 1 que no fue a revisar las correcciones y a darle su mit de regreso. Entonces ya allí, ahí, ahí le queda así como está. Eh, porque eso ya lo dijimos varias veces. Unidad 2, tengo gente que está con 80, eh, con 20. Entonces ya eso, eh, si no lo completa ya esta semana, así queda, ¿verdad? Y este, ya, ya vamos con otra cosa, que es la unidad 3. Entonces, pónganse las pilas. No esperen que, que, que nadie les recuerde. Ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Lo que, yo, lo que tienen que hacer. Y como yo sé que mi trabajo es que para el miércoles a las 8 de la mañana la lista esté completa, yo mañana recojo las notas con las notas que estén, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, mi lista tiene que estar completa, independientemente de que lleve 100, que lleve 80, que lleve 60, 20 o que lleve 0. Pero que va a estar completa, va a estar completa, ¿ok? Así es que <coughs> chequen ahí los que se me han atrasado, porque sí, la unidad 3, en serio, tengo un montón de espacios, ¿verdad? Un montón, montón de espacios. Entonces, eh, asegúrense de, de, de ponerse al día allí y de empezar a ponerse al día con el examen, ¿verdad? Para que este, vayamos bien gala. Ese es solo el comercial, el comercial de, 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 de hoy, ¿Verdad? De la plataforma. Ya mañana yo ya no les voy a recordar porque ya les recordé hoy. No les voy a estar recordando todos los días, ¿verdad? Ya recordé sábado por escrito y les recuerdo hoy. Bueno.
Let's begin. This is our class number 19. Tomorrow we finish unit number three. And the name of the unit today, uh, the exercise we're going to be working today is vocabulary practice. And we are going to be talking about past or perfect models, right? Perfect models. We're going to see um, what is the structure of the perfect models and what do we use them for? So what is the purpose of the perfect models? <coughs> How do we use them? Para que sirve, right? And the structure so you get familiarized with this. We have a couple of questions. How are employees monitored at your company? And what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? <coughs> okay. All companies have a lot of things to check. So you will tell us about yours. <coughs> Sorry. Go to your manual. In your manual, page 29. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Voy a ver que no me trajeron mi agua estas chiquis. Page 29. <coughs> Let's go discuss. I'm going to send you in trios. <coughs> there you go. Me <coughs> agua. Try to join Grace, Diego, Jessica, Jose Alberto, check. Mm -hmm. Jessica, try to join. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, no, teacher. Ask the questions. No, teacher. Está Diego también. Mm -mm. Va de camino. Hi, Diego. Va de camino, Diego. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. <clears throat> So you are you too, page 29. Okay, I will share the screen. In my case, in the production area, are uh, the employees monitoring? with the um, camera. With your monitor with the camera. Yes. And the employees that work in installed sites uh, only supervise the work <clears throat> that will stay good, no? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, in my case, uh, 
one person is like the supervisor of the of the others. Mm -hmm. uh, is like the uh, in charge of the project. Uh, so he or she supervise everything and mon monitor the old employees that are in that in their project. Okay. But we don't have like a uh, Podría ser. The auditory. Uh -huh. The um, auditory model. And. Auditory model. Bueno, se ve. O sea, de un auditor, auditoría. Un modo de auditoría. Uh -huh. The report send a report and inventory. <coughs> Is a employees? Oh. No sé cómo, bueno, aparte de lo que mencioné, to the camera, to the auditory, eh, no sé qué más se podría hacer eso. Uh -huh. Y si no da la ancho, pues, de modo. Ajá, para afuera. Qué malos, qué malos son. <risa> qué malos. Um, what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure? Oh. Bueno, ya contestamos las dos. Solo que la primera exactamente. No. Why not? I, I was uh, talking with uh, with, with um, Jose Alfredo that in the company uh, doesn't does not any for doesn't for, for... but but Carlita you you are the one who monitors. Uh, yeah, but there are no, all, all, we only sign the attendance every day, but uh, there are no um, control. There is no control. So you do not watch the, the, the employees to see if they are doing a great job. No. How do you know if they are working? Uh, because uh, uh, every people have to boss. Okay. And every boss and now if the employee work or not. Aha, uh -huh. but how do they know that the employee is working? Uh, because he uh, she is, is monitoring, but only with the... With the camera, uh, no. Or with the no, 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 no. So, they only, will... so that means that they only know that the people are there. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, uh, I I was uh, talking that uh, every people is um, is uh, with experience in the in the field yeah. that working. Mm. And, and if, if the people 
uh, is now working good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, se reemplaza. Ajá, but the question is, how do you know? How do you know that they are doing a great job? So there should be a parameter, right? That that lets mm -hmm. you know that the person who is doing a good job. Mm. Every boss in in each area know, but mm, only supervising, but mm, no documents oh. that let uh, evidence of the good job. No. Only no. of the bad job. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Only I, when when yeah, they, they are. If there no is job, uh, so uh, if something is bad, it is recorded. But if it is good, no. No. Okay. Okay. I see. That's a good. Bueno, yo creo que no va mucho. Okay. Let's go. Okay. There we are. Vamos a ver. El calor es el que me da todo a mí. Carlita, ya se le fue completo, ¿verdad? Hoy sí. Después de cuántas semanas? Tres. Cuatro. Ay, padre. O sea que me falta una todavía. <risa> Pero está... tengo una leve tos todavía. Qué feo, ¿verdad? Qué feo. Sí. Aquí los cuatro, en mi casa los cuatro estamos tose y tose. Entonces uno le responde otro. Sí, así es. Cuesta que se vaya la tos. Cuesta, cuesta. Hemos hecho tecito de todo. Pero está difícil. Es bien persistente. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, vamos a ver. I guess everybody here. No, hombre, y más que yo mucho hablo. <risa> That's a problem. Vamos a ver, everybody here. I'm going to share the questions again. How are employees monitored at your company? How? How are employees monitored at your company? I was listening to some of you saying that there is a camera, right? Huh? In my... In my is uh, the employees uh, they monitor, monitor it, uh, with camera they are monitored with camera okay yes. I guess now every company has a camera right now we have a camera even in the classroom inside the classroom it's two to share, uh, to share the class and we are recording the class. So we are, we are re recorded even inside the classroom, right? Aha, vamos a ver. What about the others? Everybody has a camera in the company to be monitored with the camera? Yes, most of the, of the place that I work, mm -hmm. uh, I work, I work at, Report, uh, they have a camera. Okay. Uh, yeah, when I work in the hotel, they have a camera. Here in the building, they have a camera. And all, all, all most of the work has a camera, oh, always. They can make a movie with, with our recordings, right? Uh -huh, <laughs> yeah, even, even if you uh, manage, manage money. Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, in, the yeah. banks, in the banks, you will see the cash, uh, the, the teller has a camera behind. Check uh -huh. what he or she is doing. Exactly. 
Now, check the other question. What kind of documentation? What kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Teacher in our group. Uh, sorry, Elmer, continue, continue. Okay. 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 In my case, teacher, <laughs> each employee make a report on the virtual mailing uh, platform. Okay. At the end of the day, the boss checks the now the number the activity is completed for the day. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Where my daughter's work is something similar. They have to, to register all the things that they have done. And like that, they, they make the report of what are the activities that they have worked, right? Mm -hmm. Aha, Adriana. Okay, we were talking about that uh, in Edwin's company, they use a different way to report. They report via WhatsApp, by WhatsApp, every activity that they, that they make for the project that they execute. Uh, Fabricio uh, almost uh, sure how they uh, monitor, how they uh, uh -huh, monitor the, the activities. And Rebecca told us that in her <laughs> company, uh, they, they create reports. And in my case, we have a report, uh, we have daily chats, daily uh, meetings via Zoom and via Teams. And we have to yeah. uh, give the, the reports that we make it the day before the advance that we have done and the things that we have planned to do for the new day. Okay, okay. So you see each company has a different way, right? But they monitor and they keep different documents to, to check. In some other companies, they have service, right? A survey is also a, another way to evaluate your job, to see if you're doing a good job. Okay, great. Now let's move. Let's make a, a quick review of last class. Remember last class we were talking about a comparatives and superlatives. And we're going to concentrate here mostly in the superlative forms. A ver. Can you help me complete this sentence? Wales. Use a superlative to complete it. And the adjective in parentheses, right? Wales. Heavens. Uh-huh. Are the, the heaviest. The heaviest. Yes, whales are the heaviest animals in the world. Okay, yeah. Whales are the heaviest animals in the world. For English people, Japanese is one of the... Jeje. Ya le dije el da. Uh -huh. The most difficult? The most difficult. Exactly. Japanese most, is one of the most difficult languages to learn. Yes, Japanese. I was trying to learn Japanese, but then everything was okay until they started writing in the in the way they write. And then I was like, oh my God. <laughs> because that's really hard. Really, really hard. Okay, let's see the next one. My sister is. My sister is. The. Is the most tiny. The most tiny. 
What happens when an adjective finishes in Y? Ajá, Adriana, ya le y los labios. Yes, the tightest. Yes, it's the tightest. Remember, you change the Y to I, and then you make, then you add the EST, right? My sister is the tightest person I, I know. <coughs> My grandmother <coughs> always is the old. Yeah. My grandmother is the oldest person in the world. Yeah, is the oldest. My grandmother is the oldest person in my family. What about the next one? That was the, we always use the, the most key, strange. The most strange. Can we say the most strange or the strangest? Strange. Fíjense que cuando tenemos strange, ¿cuántas sílabas hay en strange? Strange. The stranger, the stranger. Solo una, ¿verdad? Sí. French. So we say the strangers. It's the strangest book. We only add ST. I have read. Um, what about the next one? The forest. Yeah. Forest. Oh, thank you. The, the farthest ever. Uh huh. The Traveling. farthest I have ever traveled is from London to San Francisco. Yeah, that's kind of far. Okay. The farthest. Remember, we can also use furthest, right? But the most common is this one. Okay, what about the next one? What's? What's? More, more dangerous. The most, more dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. more dangerous. The most dangerous animal. Most dangerous. What's the most dangerous animal in El Salvador? The puma. The puma, todavía hay pumas. Los yeah. pitu. The mosquito. <laughs> the most dangerous. Ah. Solo voy a poner la de. Okay, the, what's the most dangerous animal in your country? The puma, says Rodrigo. The pitbull, says somebody there. Ajá, the pitbull. The chupacabra. <laughs> sí. Okay. What about the next one? Spain is one of the sunniest. The sunniest countries. The sunniest. Mm -hmm. One of the sunniest countries in Europe. And remember the same, right? Sunny, I change the Y to Y and then I add EST. One of the sunniest country in Europe. What's the next one? What's? The hotter, the hotter, the hottest. Yeah, what's the hottest place? With, with double T or no? T sí, with double T. The double T. E. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Latest. <coughs> what's the hottest place you have ever visited? San Miguel. Yeah. Ah, creo que Morazán. Because San, San Miguel, I only passed San Miguel. But I stayed in Sanz for one night. And I can say that's the hottest place I have ever visited. Bueno, que Chalatenango too. Chalatenango. One part, one part of Chalatenango. Sí. La Unión en Santa Rosa de Lima, teacher. La Unión. La Unión is hot too, right? It's one of the hottest places in El Salvador. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what about the last? What's? 
Da. The latest. What's the latest. What the latest you have ever stayed up? <laughs> Once when I was finishing my master degree, I stayed all night recording a video. Well, I had to record it and edit it. And at the next day, I didn't like it and I did it again. <laughs> so imagine, I, I finished. I finished with the recording and edition at 5 a.m. But then when I finished and I saw it, I was like, don't like it. And I recorded it again. So the latest I have, I have ever stayed up at night has been the whole night long. Yeah. So no sleeping at all. What about you? What's the latest you have ever stayed at night? Hmm? Have you stayed at night late? Rodrigo, what is the latest you have ever stayed up at night? Because I know you work at night. I uh -huh, I work at night. Do but you what is the what is the question? <laughs> what is the latest you have ever stayed up? Stayed up is quedarse despierto. Uh, until uh, I work at night at uh, 12. At uh, 12 at the middle of the day. I feel very tired. Uh -huh. Like, like I, will fall, I will fall. But at, at 12, you go to sleep or you have to continue? No, no. For example, I work at night and uh, I, I am still awake in the morning until 2 or 3 p.m. I feel very tired. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah. So you go to sleep at two? No, no, I work, uh, I, when I went here for uh, the house, I, I sleep uh, at eight or nine a.m. No, but the question is, what is the latest? The latest you have ever stayed up? That's it because I work at, at night. Uh, when I come in here. Oh, you I, mean 8 a.m., no p.m. A.m., ah, uh -huh, yeah. 8 a.m., wow. Imagine that sound, right? That's very hard to be awake until, well, all night until 8 a.m. Well, yeah. at 8 a.m., you are like still a little awake, but at noon, yeah. totally no, right? Okay, no. any uh, questions here? No questions? No, no, no questions. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, let's look at the conversation we have for today where we are going to be using the structure of, of perfect model, right? The perfect model is this one. Should have, yeah? Should have, you know, should have, could have, yes? Okay, let's read the conversation. Where is Mario? Late for his shift. Repeat after the teacher. Where is Mario? Where is Mario? He's late for his chair. He's late for his chair. Mario? Goodness. Very goodness. Bless you. Bless you. Salud. Bless you. 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 Right? Okay, Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. Mario, Mario goodness. goodness, I got, I got a call that he is very, very sick. I should have told you earlier. I, I should have, have told you earlier. 
Don't worry. He should have called me directly. Don't worry. 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 If he had called me, if he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. If he had called me to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, one more time. Where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Where is Mario? Where is Mario? Mario? for this. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he's very sick. Mario? Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. Don't worry. He, he should have called, called me directly. directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. I have time, I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, do you have any questions here about pronunciation, meaning, or something? Substitute. 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 Como Substitute. que si fuera O. Oh. Substitute. Uh, substitute. Mm -hmm. Substitute. 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 Mm -hmm. All the, what? How is cold or cold? Cold. cold? cold, yeah, cold, cold, como con una día bien, cold. Cold. He should have cold. Es como que diga usted, I have a cold, right? I have a cold today, so I he should have cold. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Get, get, no more. No? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to send you to work. You will practice the conversation here. And you will complete exercise three. Yeah, that's about the conversation. Complete the statements with the correct options, right? The correct answer. And then you will uh, discuss these questions. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? How did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? That means my employee is not here, so I'm going to substitute him. Yeah? Okay. So remember, you first you go quickly with the conversation, then you complete exercise three and go to the discussion. Let me check. Mm, ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have time before the attendance. So I'm going to send you now. Let me see. Now we are more. I'm going to make a more groups. I have six right now. Eh, Diego, no sé si ya está Diego. Sigue manejando Diego. Janet. Karen Janet, ya estamos de lleno, no yet. Ok. Es que quiero hacer pareja. 
Un cero, un grupo. Ahí. Vamos a ver si nos funcionan las parejas. Then let's go. Remember, practice the conversation and then do exercise three and four in your manual. <clears throat> Uh, Jessica, try to join. Jose Alfredo no here yet. Vamos a ver. Bueno, entonces me lo voy a llevar a usted para otro room. Ok. Ok. Lisset, no sé qué le pasó. José Alfredo, yo lo veo conectado, pero no lo veo aquí. Ah, que está conectado con dos cosas. Ah, uh -huh. está conectado con la compu y con el teléfono. Sí, entonces está en el otro, en el otro grupo, se ha ido. Okay. Me lo llevo entonces, José Alberto, oye. Ok. Vaya. Where's Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you. Teacher. Ay, José Alfredo. Hola, me mandó ya, solo. Me acabo Papá. de llevar a su compañero porque usted no se vino. Ah. Me lo no, acabo de llevar. Sí, me lo llevé porque el pobre estaba solo esperándolo a usted. <risa> estaba practicando con Elmer y Carla. Ah. <risa> y Jessica no entró, así es que me lo llevo de regre a usted. Lo voy a mandar allá. No sé, no, Diego no me contestó. Va, me lo llevo a la sala 4 entonces para que vaya a practicar okay. con otro. <risa> ok. <clears throat> you could have found a uh, substitute so, 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 like now. Yeah. I could have found. I could. I could have found a substitute by now. Uh, by now. Okay. Excelente. 
Si quiere, practiquemos otra vez. Vamos a ver. Okay. I'm the kitchen manager. Dice, where is Mario? He's late for the shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Okay. Uh, don't worry. She should have called me directly. He he had called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for. Docente también. The second. He, he should have called me. Mm -hmm. If he had called to my phone, I could have phone. I could have phone. A substitute by now. People have sent at work because the pandemic. The pandemic. Eso, no sé qué les parece. Así es verdad, dice pandemic. Uh, yeah, because of the pandemia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In some cases, the boss looks. <coughs> ah, ah, ok. Looks for a substitute. Uh, ¿Dónde estaba? The boss looks. Okay. Ay, es cierto, la es. That, for the person that is absent. Ah, es cierto. That is absent. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, at at my work, uh, many people is absent because they have a they have COVID flu mm -hmm, or COVID in the worst of cases. Yeah, in my workplace too. I I was not I was not absent because I was lucky that we didn't have classes for three days. Really? Uh -huh. And I got sick on on Saturday afternoon. Uh huh. Well. Late Friday, I started to feel a little headache. Mm -hmm. right? Then Saturday, Saturday, I work online, so no problem. Saturday afternoon, I was feeling terribly bad. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, I was like new. So it was exactly, I, I always tell my daughters, God is perfect. Because I yeah. was exactly... Uh, we were absent exactly the days that I needed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those three days. And then I recovered in those three days. Imagine. That's why I was not yeah. absent. Another teacher was absent for five days. And, uh, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> at my little right. brother's, at my little brother's uh, school, mm -hmm. they, they, uh, they, give the instruction for virtual classes for the last week because a lot of teachers and a lot of kids are with COVID or with a flu or something, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This week they they can they came back to, to presencial classes, but my little brother has a little of a throat. <laughs> no, <laughs> throat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so... Uh, in the house decides that he's not going to classes. Yes. Yes. That's true. No, I, w I went yesterday to make the exam to check. And I said, because if I have a cough, 
And if I'm sick, I can give only the visual classes, but the presential ones, no? And I checked and I was negative. So I said like, okay, no problem. I can continue working. <laughs> if no, I have to rest because it's, it's very delicate. But in, in this case that are COVID, eh, how many days the people absent in the work? They are giving 14 days. 14. Mm -hmm. Yes, 14 days is true. 14 days. And it's, it, it's very, very este, complicated with yeah. the COVID. The, when do you, quiero cobrar el seguro? Ah, when you want to to uh, to charge the social charge, security. The social security, yes, because they have a lot of people that wants to 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 have a COVID, and they have a lot of experience. This experience. Uh -huh. a lot of papers. A lot of papers. Uh -huh. and so they are very angry with the proced procedure mm -hmm. right now. Exactly. Imagine, mm -hmm. normally you go with the sick leave and they tell you it's fine from your boss and everything or from the human resources, right? So you go to the office with the document, with the sick leave, and they, give, and they tell you in three days, you can go to the bank and charge it. But with my shoulder that I got sick, right? And I was absent for 15 days. I went on Friday to, to leave the sick leave and they told me until next Friday. So eight days because as so many people are getting sick, so many people are getting a sick leave. Then the time, the time that they have for you to go and, and, and pick up the, the, the money is longer. Because mm -hmm. people are getting sick. Yes, it's true. So better don't get sick. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I think it depends of your company. They give you a the a, a, a la retribución. Mm -hmm. What I yes, want. because I I know a case that a friend that works in and manufacturing industry mm -hmm. that uh, she gets COVID the last year and for the 15 days that uh, he was in in recuperation uh, they didn't pay her the complete for 15 days uh -huh. they pay less so it's very very complicated mm -hmm. But that's that's how it works. Mm -hmm. The company doesn't pay. What pay? Who pays is the social. It's the social. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in, in the case of bank, I have we have the the qué? Ay, ¿cómo se llamaría? No sé. Advantage. Advantage. Yes, yes. The advantage that they pay you all oh. your salary. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, because. <laughs> It's new. It's yes. very sad because we receive like half of the money that we would receive if we were working. Yes. Mm, not even complete, not even the half. Mm -hmm. Less than the half of the money that we should receive if we imagine yes yes so it's not a warranty to be up <laughs> no sick no no teacher if you get sick you know that your your poor pocket is going to suffer a lot a lot a lot okay. that's terrible well let's go because we have to call attendance vamos a ver oh yeah you finished okay. right yes okay I just let me check one group that I haven't seen and then I call you. Okay, teacher. Hey, Paul. Um, uh, auxiliar. 
multifunction, multi 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 to learn an assistant. A multipurpose. Multipurpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Multipurpose. A multipurpose person. Do you have a multipurpose person in your company? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Multi. Purpose. 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 <laughs> Purpose. <laughs> 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 Así dice, yes, multipurpose. Yes, multipurpose. A multipurpose person. Mm -hmm. Person. Sí. Okay. Second asking ah, for. Pero a ah, no an, Rosy. Ah, 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 ah. Sí, a, perdón, teacher, me emocioné. A multipurpose person. A multipurpose person. That's nice to have a multipurpose person. <laughs> so they can substitute anybody in the company, right? <clears throat> in my company, <coughs> uh, all are multipurpose. Really? Really. Wow. <coughs> what about in your company, Jose Alberto? Um, Do you have a multipurpose person to substitute, or it has to be somebody from the same area? In my last in, uh, workplace, we have a uh, department, mm -hmm. all the multipurpose persons. Okay. They know all the operations uh -huh. and uh, she, uh, his work or they work uh, are only cover the mm -hmm. person uh, with not the, the don't going at work. Okay. But well, that's nice to have somebody who knows everything, right? Yeah. Rosy, quítele el auxiliary y ponga sí, el... Sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Yes, we got a substitute. Got. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is... Uh, Alberto, did you get a substitute? Yes, we got a substitute. Yep. Yes, we got a substitute. Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? Never. No. 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 Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? Mm. Well, I think it, uh, sometimes we can have a we came to have a little responsibility in, in the absence. Extra. Like yeah. uh, extra job. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, one minute and I call you. Oh, <clears throat> There we are. Let me, let me. Yes. Some seconds for everybody to come. Six seconds. One. Okay. Everybody back. Oh, we lost two people. I'm sorry. Eh, Adriana Marcela. 
Present teacher. Anna. No Anna today, right? Carlos Jose. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Ya estoy disponible también, teacher. Excellent, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma Carolina. Gemma Gemma. Jessica Lisset. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Zeta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Okay, now we go back. Okay, checking. Look at the conversation and complete the statements. Number one, I, I should have told. Mm -hmm. I should have. I should have told you later, right? If you use the 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 abbreviation, you say should have, could have, should have, right? You sh I should have, I should have call you later. No, tell you, Eva. I should have tell you later. Tell you, told you. Past participle. And number two, <clears throat> he show have told. Okay, he could have. He could have called me. Remember the regular verbs. The past simple and the past participle is the same, so you won't see any difference, right? You, and you can say here, ah, but el pasado. No, it's not the simple past, it's past participle. But if the verb is regular, the past simple and the past participle are exactly the same. Yes? Now, number three, if he had called to my phone, I... I could have found. I could have. I could have found a substitute. Find, found, found. Right? I could have found a substitute. Okay, great. Now, tell me, have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff? Not going to work? Yes, no. That somebody says, listen, I'm not going to work today because I'm really sick. I'm at the doctor. I won't be able to go to work. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice? Hmm? Yes, I have received more than once the notice at the last minute. Okay. And how did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute or you assume some of the employee's responsibility? 
Well, if there are no urgent finished activities, wait for the co-worker to return. Okay. So you say, okay, no problem. We can wait until you come back. Yeah? Yes. Imagine when it is somebody from human resources, the one that has to sign a lot of documents, like the planilla, the papers that you have to send to it to English Corporativo to register for the course, the sick leaves and everything. What happens when that person is sick and that, her, that person is not arriving? Who signs in that case? In the case, it's important there, the activities are finished for other co-worker. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Depends the activities pending. Do you ever assume the responsibilities of somebody who's not at work? Yes, sometimes I have finished the activities and I have attended the meetings. Okay, so that's more work, right? Yes. That's more work. Okay, very good. Now I want you to look at this. We're talking today about perfect models. You know the present perfect, right? And you know that the, the present perfect is had plus the verb in past participle, yes? And that's why this structure is called like that perfect model because we are using a model, we are using had, and the verb in the past participle. Remember what I was telling you, right? The past participle of regular verbs is the same. So you have past simple, past participle is exactly the same. If the verb is regular. If the verb is irregular, you will perfectly see the difference, right? It's not the same, it's different. So you have become, became, become. Go, went gone, drink, drunk, drunk, eat, ate, eaten. So you will see the difference if the verb is irregular, but if the verb is regular, played, played, cold, cold, right? Report, reported. So the past simple and the past participle is exactly the same. But you have to be very careful, so do not lose the idea that with the perfect model, we use the model, have, no has, right? Have, it has to be have, because after a model, we use the verb in the base form, right? So we have to use have, the auxiliary have, and the verb in past participle. What are models that we can use in this, uh, in this way? Could, should, must, might, may, and even would, right? I would have, I would have helped you. Yo te hubiera ayudado, right? Even would, we can also use would in this case. Vamos a agregar el would aquí. Yes. And you pair this model with the perfect tense. So that means have and plus past participle. Let's see a couple of examples. Check. We say, we say, should, should have, and the past participle, right? I should have sent the report sooner. Uh, we use this, we use this a structure when we want to express regret. Yes. So you feel that like, ah, remorse is like a remordimiento, right? Un arrepentimiento, remordimiento sobre algo en pasado. So we're not talking about present here. Yo me arrepiento de algo que hice o que no hice. That's the purpose of this structure. 
I should have sent the report. Like when the girl said, I should have told you earlier. I should have told you. I received the call, but I didn't tell you. So I should have, right? I should have told you before. You can also a uh, regretting negative, right? So here you have, I should have sent. Debía haber enviado el reporte más temprano. Yeah. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have asked. No debía haberle pedido. Right. I shouldn't have. So this is the structure that I that we use perfect model, right? That's perfect model. When you use should, the be, right? The be haber enviado. Remember the ending of the past participle is el ido ado, right? Imagine you are in the middle of the class and you're very hungry and you say, Ay, debí haber comido. I should have eaten before class, right? I should have slept early yesterday. I should have drunk more water. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have eaten so much. So you can regret about something that you did or about something that you didn't do. Mm -hmm. Now, we have, we could, we can use could or would plus have, right? And they are used again for past participles. So if I had known, I could have gotten a substitute. Remember the conversation. The man didn't know that Rodrigo was, no, Rodrigo, ¿cómo se llamaba? No se ve. Me, eh, sí, ¿verdad? Uh, Mario. That Mario was going to be absent. So he didn't know. But he says, if I had known, I could have gotten a substitute. If I had known he was sick, I would, I could have gotten, podría, right? Podría haber encontrado o buscado un substitute. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it. So if you had told him, he could have fixed your schedule. Yes? If that's when you say, if you hubiera sabido, hubiera hecho tal cosa, right? If I had known, I would have taken my umbrella with me. If I had known it was going to rain, I would have taken my umbrella with me. See? Okay, look at the other example. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule. If I had received. Este, when we use had received, that is the past perfect. A past perfect is el pasado del pasado, right? So that means that I didn't receive my, my, my schedule. I didn't receive it on time. I receive it like K. Five minutes ago. But if I had received my schedule on time, I would have come to work. No vine porque yo no había recibido. ¿sí? Había. Right? No había recibido mi horario. ¿Sí? In this case, you know that the, the word would helps with the word, uh, that adds aria to the verb, right? I would have come. Yo habría venido. Habría. See? Yo habría venido. So that's what you're telling me here. 
when you use this structure. So we have, uh, we are regretting, right? We are regretting something that we didn't do because of something. But if you had known, you would have done things different, right? Vamos a ver. Espérenme, que este mi mouse al revés trabaja. Okay. Now, look at these examples. The boy could have done the dishes himself, but his father decided to help. The girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. You got this thing and fell down. Spin, right? Spun, the past part is. She shouldn't have spun around so many times. My camera, my camera may have used this. My grandfather, sorry, may have used this camera when he was a young man. But I'm not sure. Podría haberla usado, right? When he was young. Her mother might have put more heart on the sandwich. Podría haber puesto. So we don't know, right? They must have practiced a lot because they are very good musicians. So these are other examples of perfect model, right? In the model, we are using the perfect to talk, to talk about a regret or a remorse. But you can also talk, uh, use it to talk about something that could have been different in a different situation, yeah? Now, we have some other examples here. I'm not sure. What you're going to do, no say, if you have any questions, if no, what you're going to do here is complete the sentences, remember the structure we use in should, could or would, right? Those are the three models we're going to use. I wanted to show you that you can use all the others to express a, also that something could have been different, right? A complete sentence is using should, could, would have, and the verb in past participle. And you have one example. If the servers had received proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. Check it. if they have received. This is an unreal conditional. ¿Recibieron ellos un, un entrenamiento apropiado? No. No, they didn't. Because if they had received a proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. So they didn't receive a proper training. As a result, they were not able to answer the questions of the customers. Any questions here? Questions? Oh, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. But I'm going to send you in the último group. Mm -hmm. So you discuss together. We are going to do exercise six and exercise seven. Exercise six and exercise seven. Pero hoy sí los voy a mandar en grupos más grandes. So you help each other. Ok. Vamos a ver. Todos. Todos, todos, todos están. Eh, Karen Janet. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok. Grace Michelle. Yes, teacher. 
David no, ¿verdad? Está trabajando to the vision. Diego ya está aquí. Ahí está. Vaya, miren, estamos cales. Vaya, let's go. Let's go. Let's complete the questions. Yo voy a andar por ahí watchando. <laughs> Watching. If you have questions, tell me. Ok, vamos. Try to join. <laughs> the exercise six. Yes. Um, Complete the sentence with should, could, will have, and past participle. Number one is the example. But if the server has a safe, proper training, they could have answered the customer questions. The number two, the bartender should not have taken that bottle of wine without permission. What do you think? Mm -hmm. The bartender should, should not or shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Yeah, both are okay. Both are okay. You can use the contraction or without contraction, no problem. Okay. Number three. No. Sí, yes. No le preguntamos a la teacher. Teacher. Hola. <risa> no nos va a ayudar, dice la teacher. <risa> es que, yeah. es que como ya nos está dando, ¿verdad? Chulen, chul, no, perdón. Chul, no, take. Sí. Ajá, entonces pensamos que, bueno, yo pensé que solo era chulen, take. Pero no. Tiene sí, razón, sí, la, la regla sí, es chulen, sí. how. Así, ah, ¿verdad? Take. Chulen, sí. how. Take the bottle of wine without permission. Acuérdense que el take va en pas participle, ¿verdad? Should I? Oh. A tú. Taking, no. Sí. Okay. No me va a caber. Shouldn't have taken. Oh. Súbalo. Que el mouse se me ha revelado. Oh, mire. Igual al mío. Yo le doy que adelante y retrocede. Está duro. Ahí está, ahí está. <ríe> Ajá, the bartender shouldn't have taken the bottle of wine without permission. Yes. Ok. The servers. Oh. Así es que no lleva de al final en vez de n no 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 es que ese es este acuérdese, los verbos no, no, no. acuérdese que es take to taken es el past participle no teacher bueno, yo creo que bueno, se está bueno, confundiendo bueno. con los modal adjectives ¿Mm? ajá ¿Cómo? no qué qué digo es no ah, verdad es que sí past participle el paso. Uh -huh. Acuérdese que es un verbo regular, irregular, no regular. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, sí, pero sí el pasado que no es tú. Sí, pero ¿cuál tiempo es el que tiene que usar? Participo. Ah, ok, ok. El paso parece. Uh -huh. Parece. De ser, pero... Sería would have. 
Uh -huh. Ah, espérame. Uh -huh. Ar, sería verdad. Mm. Ah, no, 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 espérame. Uh -uh. Cool. Uh -huh. No te escribiendo. No, 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 teacher, es que ahorita estoy. Oh. <ríe> Tengo una duda, la estoy queriendo aclarar. <ríe> The server. Beans. Sure. That. Wool, wool beans. Y el ham. Ay, sí, es cierto, perdón. Sure. That. Will have been in trouble. And they have. Ah, aquí lo estaba dando también. Hello. Hello. The seventh part we have to do in Miss. Sí, 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 sí. Okay. In that case, you have to read the situations and uh -huh. it goes with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Just to discuss or write it down? Write, write the sentences. For example, okay. if you say, money has disappeared from the registered machine, but I can't tell who's taking it. Um, they should have uh, taken the cams. The field comes. They should have taken the field comes. No. The films. Uh huh. The field comes. To see, to see in the video, right? The, the, the who's taking it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could have. Remember to use a could have or would have or should have. Right. Yes, yes. I assume that you finished number six, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Who's taking? Mm. How are you doing? We are thinking about the one the the fears situation. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who has, who is taking it. You can't tell because you don't know. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't, for example, you, you know that the money is disappearing, but you don't have mm -hmm. any, right? Or, or you haven't seen the evidence to know who, who is taking the money. Entonces, so. But the... The, the action for the action the manager could have done to improve is in the future. No. Uh -huh. no, 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 because it says what uh, the actions the manager could have done. Cuando usted dice could have done, es que podría haber hecho. Uh, could have done. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo que él podría haber hecho? 
para resolver esa situación. Uh, I think the manager should, should, have, should have put it put it the camera. Okay. You should have checked the camera, supposing that they have a camera, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two. He, he has. Should have checked, checked the, the camera. Mm -hmm. You should have checked the camera. Check, check it. We check. Check it. Checked. He could have checked. Check. Okay. Someone. I think money uh, from the tip. Mm -hmm. I take money from the tip and. Solo sí. Solo la eso. Otra. Ajá, la dice, dice la otra. Eh, my, my customer complained that the that my server take too long to deliver it to the food. Sí, que los clientes se quejan de que el mesero se tarda mucho en llevar la comida. Uh -huh. Remember that the one who is eh, who's going to take the actions is the manager, right? Okay. Uh, I will, I will, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Disculpas, I will, le pediría una disculpas. Tiene que usar el could have, John. Could have. I, I could, I could have a, uh, a, uh, uh, sorry, no, no, uh, Apologize. Aha. Uh -huh. With who? About what? With the manager. Uh, respect of the uh, uh, because of the service. Mm, but who is suffering with that situation? The manager or the or the customers? Uh, my customer is complaining of the servers. No, the manager. The manager, he will send I apologize. He, he could, he could, he, he could uh, send a apologize letter. Good. Remember to use the structure, a perfect model? Perfect model. Uh, the manager could have apologized. Quién? The customer. The manager who. Me escucha, compañero. The manager could have apologized with the customers. Ah. Dice la otra. Hola. Salfredo. Sí, la escucha, Rodrigo. Sí. Eh, porque Dayanara lo está copiando, creo yo. Sí, sí pero, pero eh, no escuché bien, escucha como muy cortado. Ok, listo. Eh, dice... ¿Cómo es? <ríe> ok. Number four. The kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Oh. Taking stuff. What does it mean taking stuff? Hi, hi. Anybody here? Hi, Jessica. We finished. But uh, did you finish number seven too? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Number seven, two. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> right, right now. Here you have different situations. So what you have to do is discuss 
and think about the actions that the manager could have done to improve the situations. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Number. Ay, ¿por qué se me mueve? Es que escribió con Zoom, ¿verdad? Creo. Sí, eso pasa cuando escribe con Zoom. Ah. Sí. ah. Ay, que, bueno, le voy a tomar una captura de pantalla. Sí, sí, eso pasa cuando escribe con Zoom y no con el, con el cosito de, del PDF. Ajá, escribí con su. Sí, por eso se mueve todo. Ay, ok. Solo le voy a tomar. Sí, está bien. Okay, number seven. Okay. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. We already finished. Six and seven. Hi, teacher. Yes, and I don't know if you want to check it, if we are okay. Okay, let me share. There are or answers. The button there should not have taken. Would have been, should have asked. Should not have taken. Should have called. Yeah. What about number seven? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you help me at the end of the class? Sure. Sure, sure. I have a little problem in the platform. What happened? Um, wait, wait. In the hour 2.11. Mm -hmm. In the part. Put the words in the code order to make sense and question. Tengo tres ahí que no les encuentro orden, teacher. Ya probé esta forma. Ah, 2.11. Es, es, es. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, que hay que ponerle el, un espacio entre la última letra de la última palabra y el question mark. Creo que es la última la que tiene esa situación. Y ya le digo cuál es. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí le da por y eso. Una y punto también, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Y un espacio en un punto. Ay, Dios. <ríe> sí. Yo decía por qué. Vaya, eh, ajá, eso, eso son detallitos, y creo, 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 ya le haya, ya le ayudan los tres, y los eh, otros, yo, las modifiqué de varias formas, y no, vaya, ¿cuáles le están dando problema? ¿La dos, la tres, la cinco? No, la tres, cuatro y cinco. Tres, cuatro y cinco. Uh -huh. <coughs> ¿Qué ha puesto en la 3? We be good if we change the dress code. We would be good. We... Por, uh, es, por we, eso le da error, porque tiene que empezar con it, no con we. Con it. It would mm -hmm. be good. Mm -hmm. If we. Yeah. Okay. 
A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. No. Este, Va. Compártame pantalla, puede. Eh, estoy en la computadora ahorita, voy a compartir. Um, estoy en el teléfono y no sé cómo darle vuelta a la cámara. ¿No le aparece ahí la opción de compartir? Ah, sí, 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 sí. No, no, creo que puede ver. Ahí está. Ahí está. Y, ah, póngale capital letter al it. <coughs> It would be good if we en, pero eso. verdad? ¿Cómo, cómo? Dice changed. Sí, eh, dice it would be good if we change change. Sí. Ajá, if she the change. Dress code right. Y el punto lleva una separación. Ah, no lo sé. Porque si es... No lo sé. Ah, no. Bueno. Vaya, veamos la otra. La otra, la otra sería. We need to have. Eh, lo mismo. It would be. Ah, tiene no. que empezar con it. Porque esa no es pregunta. Ah, sí, lleva puntos. Tiene ah, razón. Ese es el problema. Exacto. Sí, sí, sí. Exacto. Y entonces sería, it would be. Ajá, it would. Have... Ay, ahí le ha puesto ir, mire. Ir. Oh, sí. Vaya, pero el it lléveselo al principio. Sí, sí, es eso. Aquí se lo voy a borrar y ya está en el principio. Have a good. A good idea. Eh... Ahí le falta algo. Eh, yo lo tengo. I would be to have. It, it would be. It. Ajá. It, ah, sí, sí, ahí. it would it be a would, good. It would be qué? Be to have. No. It would be. Have a, aquí le falta algo. Eh, tiene que mover algo para acá. It would be. Acuérdese que decíamos, it would be better, it would be a good idea, it would be great, uh -huh. it would be a good idea, y aquí lo que había puesto antes, to have. To have. To have. Y fue que ahora se me la perdí. Bueno, me perdí varias. <laughs> to have a training manual for chefs. Ajá. Ahí está. Entonces, aquí sí empiezo con el wood. Sí, sí. En sí, esta, vale. porque es question, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Well, then... Can it be better to let the manager uh -huh. be decide? Let the manager. Sí. Ese B. Sí. Y ese B, ¿qué está haciendo allí? Eh, creo que ya lo tengo lo además acá. Y ya lo uso. Ajá. It would be better. Le puso. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be. Aquí va el be. Ahí. Sí. Wouldn't it be. Be. Ajá. Be better. Yes. To decide. A ver. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Ahorita voy a probar eso. No le, le dio el 100. Sube a ver. Pero por... este no me carga. Ah. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Ahí está. Ahí está, sí. Sí, sí. Eso es lo que me hacía falta. Ok, perfecto. Thanks, teacher. Ok. Bueno, vámonos. Me lo llevo, let's go.
Almost. Almost, almost. Vaya, vamos a ver. 30 seconds. How many are here? Oh, 28. No se han venido todavía. La segunda es should have taken. Haven't taken. Okay, the bartender shouldn't do the contraction. Perfect. Shouldn't have taken. Uh -huh, shouldn't, shouldn't have taken. Shouldn't have taken. That photo. Taken. Past participle, right? And what about number three, the servers? Uh, could have been. Yeah, would have been. <laughs> yeah, the servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting, okay. Number four. Uh, you should have been asked. Yes, you should have asked. Affirmative, verdad? Sí. Yes. Yes. You have asked. Manager for a day off. Number five. Uh, should haven't taken. ¿Dónde va la negation, Rodrigo? Haven't. Haven't. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. No, no, haven't. No, ya no le ponen negation a haven't. Ya no haven, sino que have. The cashier shouldn't have. ¿Sí? No, pero digamos, si es así, should, haven't taken. It's not possible. It's not possible. You say shouldn't have. Shouldn't, shouldn't have. have. Sí, shouldn't have. No puede decir should have it. That's not possible. You say the cashier shouldn't have taken. The negation buying it shouldn't. Shouldn't. Sí. Shouldn't have. Sí, the cashier shouldn't have taken the money. The negation buying it shouldn't. Okay. So the last one? Uh, should have called. Yeah. I should have. I should have called. Yes. I should have called to let the manager know I'm sick. Okay. Any question here? No question, teacher. Okay. Not teacher. Okay. Let's see the last part. A money has disappeared from the register machine. But I can't tell who it is, who, who's taking it. I, when you say I can't tell who's taking it, no es porque no puedo decirlo. Tengo que estar, tengo que guardar silencio. No, no puede decirlo porque no, no, no sabe. ¿Verdad? So, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who it is who's taking it. What action? Could the manager have done to improve to solve the situation? A volunteer? The manager? The manager should have checked the camera? Yes, the manager should have, should have checked the camera. Okay. Number two, some of the bottle, three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. The manager should have, should have discounted of the servers. What did you say? Okay, vamos a ver Rosy y después vamos a ir a Karen. A ver Rosy. Okay, 
the manager should have discounted all the servers. Okay, we should have discounted the three bottles from the servers. Okay, Karen. Igual, teacher, con ella estaba. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All of you agree? Somebody has a different idea here. The manager should have discounted that from the servers. I think the manager could have reported the issue. The manager could have reported the issue. Pero a quién se lo va a reportar el manager? A alguien que esté más arriba, maybe, right? A ver, number three. Customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. The What manager should manager? have supervised the time of elaboration of the food at the time of delivery. Excellent. Very good. He could have supervised, right? The time for elaborating the food and the time for delivery. Great. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. You know the sign, right? Yes. Has been taking stuff. Se lleva de todo. Cualquier cosa que le ocurra, se lo lleva. So, what could the manager have done? The manager uh, should have all the cameras in the storage room. Okay, okay, okay. And to control, right? And with right. evidence, you can say, hey, don't take the cebollas, don't take the onions to your house. <laughs> you need them here to cook. Okay, and the last one. The schedule is a mess. And it is very difficult for staff to understand it. Mm -hmm. The manager. What could the manager have done? Should have ordered the schedule. The schedule. Yeah, he should have ordered the schedule. Somebody said yesterday they use a, a spreadsheet in, in Excel, right? That would be neat and easier to understand. Good, 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 excellent. Now, we have gotten in. Let's go for the last attendance. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Anna. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué. No here. Eh, David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Emma. Emma Carolina. Jessica Lisset. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizeta Yanara. Present teacher. Lubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle, Grace, Grace, Rosie, present teacher, Luis Mauricio, ok, 19, ¿verdad? Rebeca Marcela se queda conmigo hoy, no, 19, sí, 
Rebeca no se había quedado conmigo, sí. No, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Ah, va. Apostamos. Ok. Bueno. Bye, 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 bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep with the honor. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, Diego. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Hi, teacher. I am fine. Thank you. Fine. See you. Mejor. Ya mire y hablo. Estoy escuchando. Qué bueno. Ya hablo. Aquí acompañada del tecito, del agua y del jarabe. De que le ayude a su garganta. Sí, definitely, definitely. Tell me, do you have any questions? Um, yes, I have, I have a question about the, about the, the tareas. Lo de, lo de, de la plataforma. De la plataforma, ajá. Ahorita hasta cuál deberíamos de haber terminado. Hoy tienen que terminar hasta la tarea, ya le digo. Vamos a la unit, estamos en la unit number three, la tarea cuarta, la cuarta tarea de esta unidad. La voy a desplegar. 30 points, Edimus. Sí, vamos a ver. One, two, three, four. La three point seven, exactly. Okay. Fíjese que como. Así que, bueno, yo. No. Quédense ahorita hasta la three point five. Sí, verdad. Sí. Mm, es que esa es la que estábamos haciendo ahora, ¿va? Sí. Que yo las hice ahora en el día. Pensando que teníamos que terminar todo. Sí, hasta la sí. Five. Porque eh, esta 3.7 es de vocabulary. Pero como el lesson que me pusieron para hoy no es de vocabulary. ¿Sabe qué puede hacer para adelantar? Hacer la 3.9. La 3.9 es de comparative, sí, superlative, sí, eso es. Ah, sí, sí. sí. Entonces, para que no se atrase, puede hacer esa, la 3.9 y dejar la 3.7 para mañana. Ah, ok. Sí, porque la 3.9 es de comparative, sí, superlative, que es lo que nosotros estuvimos haciendo a principio de esta unidad, ¿verdad? los primeros dos días. Sí, sí, sí recuerdo. Entonces, eso sí lo puede hacer. Y deja la de vocabulary para mañana. Porque mañana, vamos a ver. Sí. After the class. Exacto. Ajá, mañana, mañana vamos a estar viendo eso. Okay. La cosa es que como yo me voy rigiendo por el lesson que me dejan, vea. Sí, sí, sí. Y a veces el lesson no va pegando. Por ejemplo, ahorita me pegó con él. Ajá. Pero hasta ahorita no va pegando porque las otras... Las sí. demás sí van pegando bien. Uh -huh. Pero en esta unidad número 3 no. No pegó. Uh -huh. Entonces mañana que tenemos la unit review... Vamos a hacer esa parte del vocabulario, que es la página 31 y 32. Entonces, ajá, ahí vamos a ver ese vocabulario de la tarea de hoy. Ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces, mejor váyase a la, a la última. Vaya. Sí, porque cabalbe. 
Cabal, ese vocabulario está en la página 32. Lo vamos a ver hasta mañana. Surveillance, reassure, behavior, death, wage, tip and spooky. Eso lo vamos a ver hasta mañana. Entonces, eh, sáltese. ¿Verdad? Sáltese uno. Haga la tres punto que. La tres punto nueve. Eso sí, ya lo vimos. Y, y deja la, la, la 3.7 para mañana. Uh -huh. okay, teacher. Porque Cabal, por ejemplo, la, la tarea de hoy, o sea, la tarea que le salía para el viernes es lo que vimos hoy. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, ahí es donde se... se, se <ríe> A ver qué les pasó. ¿Verdad? Entonces. Sí, claro. entre, ajá. Eh, pero sí, para que no se atrase, se puede ir a hacer la, la tarea 3.9. Okay. Ya mañana que, te, que trabajemos ese vocabulary, ya hace la 3.7 y ya queda libre. Ok, está bien dicho. Any other question eh, that you have? Eh, no, los exámenes, ve, hicimos uno al finalizar la, la tarea, la, la unidad 2, ajá. Eh, de ahí vamos a hacer hasta la 4 y solo van a hacer, digamos, exámenes en la plataforma. Sí, sí, solamente en la plataforma. Ah, okay. Aquí por lo me, por ejemplo, terminamos la unidad 3, ve, ahí terminamos la unidad 4. Después de terminar la unidad 4 viene el examen. Y el examen es igual que el del midterm, que va en partes. Ajá, si eran cuatro partes. Ya ustedes perfectamente pueden hacer la parte 1, ya la pueden hacer. Yo de la unidad 3. Ajá, creo. No, creo que te han. Ya pueden hacer la parte 2. Ah, no, todavía no. La parte 2 es de la clase de mañana. También. No, bueno, pues. Uh -huh. Lleva un pedacito de, del principio de los comparativos y el resto es de la parte de la clase de mañana. Pero. La parte 3 es de la unidad 4. Y la parte 4 también. Entonces, no, del examen solamente pueden hacer ahorita la parte 1. Ok. Que es lo que han visto. La, el resto todavía no, no llegamos. No llegamos ahí. ¿Verdad? Pero para el examen tenemos un poquito más de tiempo. Sí, falta. Me queda como una semana. Sí, tenemos toda la semana. Entonces, ya en el transcurso de la semana, ya por viernes, ya pueden ir a hacer la parte 2, que la parte 2 de, del examen es lo que vamos a trabajar mañana. Ok. Entonces ya pueden ir adelantando ese pedacito. ¿Verdad? Vaya, pues, entonces la dejo para que termine allí. <ríe> Vaya, teacher, muchas gracias. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a night. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 B